How many people do you know? I know so many that retire at a certain age, but then they go back to work and they're doing yes. something maybe part time just to keep them active. And all that helps as well, doesn't it? It definitely helps. As I said before, a lot of the issues that we start noticing is when people retire and they just stay home and they kind of lose, you know, muscle mass and they lose you momentum. Know, momentum, exactly. So what what we encourage is obviously as much as you you are comfortable with doing it is to engage in some type of activity if you would like if some people don't aren't comfortable with not working anymore then that's actually the case of my father he retired at a very early age and he figured he could not be home all day long and he started working again and and that's okay but if you don't want to work if you're tired of that you know work routine then there are other things that you can do. You know, there's, uh, especially here, there's a lot of activities for uh, older adults, um, whether it's uh, exercise or art lessons or, you know, music lessons, uh, knitting, crocheting, just being, staying physically and mentally active, engage your brain and, and your body in an activity and try and keep a schedule so that you're not staying home all day long, kind of becoming, you know, couch potato after you've worked so hard and so long to get to this age. Stay healthy. That's Absolutely. the biggest part. Dietary requirements. Do they change when we get older? Do we need more calories, less calories? It can vary a lot. You know, one of the main issues is when you are ingesting calories, obviously you want to make sure that you're not ingesting too many of them that are going to get stored and, and have you become overweight because that's a different issue. And it's also important to really recognize that calories are not the same across the spectrum. It's not the same to eat, you know, a, a very, like, French fries uh, you know, 200 calories of that as it is to eat 200 calories of, you know, with, in a salad, for example. Or two apples. So, or two apples, yes. So it, it kind of varies on that. The most important thing is, again, to, to have a balanced nutrition. So we tend to overeat carbohydrates, you know, rice, pasta, potatoes. And really what we should be overeating is things like fruit and fiber, uh, like vegetables, uh, and, and, and make that the biggest part of our plate.